The concept of the underworld is one that can be found in most religions and forms of mythology, and it's often guarded by gods and other mythical creatures. Today we take a look at Cerberus, the guardian of the underworld in Greek mythology. Cerberus was a monstrous three-headed hound, with a mane made from hundreds of snakes, a serpent's tail, and the claws of a lion. The three heads of Cerberus were believed to represent the past, the present, and the future. There are some differing opinions in regards to the symbolism behind Cerberus's three heads, with some believing the heads are more symbolic of birth, youth, and old age. Cerberus possessed the ability to turn anyone who crossed his gaze into stone, much like Medusa and her Gorgon sisters. With razor-sharp teeth and a poisonous bite, not many dared to cross Cerberus. Like many of the fiercest monsters in Greek mythology, Cerberus' father was Typhon, the most feared of all of the monsters, and his mother was Echidna, the half-woman, half-snake creature, also known as the mother of all monsters. Cerberus' primary role was to be the watchdog of the underworld, and he was a loyal servant to his master Hades, the god of the underworld. He was chained to the gates of hell by Hades, but he was still able to patrol the river Styx and Acheron, as they were the main way in and out of the underworld. Cerberus prevented any of the dead attempting to escape the underworld, as well as the living who tried to enter without the permission of Hades. He would often help guide the dead into the underworld, but savagely attack and devour those who attempted to leave. Cerberus makes an appearance in several mythological stories, and often he is shown being bested by the hero. One of these stories features Orpheus, a famed musician in Greek mythology. Orpheus's wife was bitten by a poisonous snake, and she died, resulting in her being sent to the underworld. Stricken by grief and no longer able to play his music, he decided he would attempt to rescue his wife from the underworld. When attempting to cross the river Styx, Orpheus encountered Cerberus, and he began to play his harp. Cerberus was sent into a deep slumber, and Orpheus was able to cross the river unopposed. Some of you may have seen a similar story without even knowing. In J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter, we see a three-headed dog named Fluffy who closely resembles Cerberus. Fluffy is charged with guarding the Philosopher's Stone, and similar to the original myth, he is sent to sleep with the music of an enchanted harp. Cerberus is an interesting figure in Greek mythology, as dogs were often presented as wild and rarely shown as domesticated or pets. But Cerberus is shown to be an obedient servant to Hades, I personally feel that this is one of the main reasons why Cerberus is shown to be a mixture of creatures and not just a canine. There seems to be a recurring theme, with canine-like creatures or gods being the guardian to the underworld. We see this with the god Anubis in Egyptian mythology, the hound known as Garm in Norse mythology, and of course Cerberus in Roman and Greek mythology. Is it possible that this goes back to the age-old belief that dog is man's best friend, or is this just a mere coincidence? If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider leaving a thumbs up, as it helps promote the video and allows the channel to grow. If there's anything you'd like to discuss or have any ideas for future videos, then please let me know in the comments section. As always, I've been your host, Mythology and Fiction Explained, 